Hi and welcome. I'm Grace and we're here at Central Wellness Yoga Studio in Lincoln. I'm going to lead you through a very short tutorial on practicing crow pose, which is often an introductory arm balance for people, but a great building block to have some understanding to build into some different arm balances. So we're going to start actually on our backs. So a lot of crow pose is about hip flexion as well as strength and alignment through the upper part of the body. So we're going to begin by bringing your knees as wide as your shoulders and flexing your feet. So you can feel here there is flexion, deep flexion into my hips. So my knees and my hip and my knees and my chest are moving together. And then I'm going to reach your arms forward and bend your elbows. So my upper arms here are moving into my rib cage. I'm spreading my fingers nice and wide as if I was trying to press up towards the ceiling, but I've got quite a deep angle or bend in my elbow. Not lifting up here, but I'm starting to feel some <clears throat> sensation into the hips. Just to give that, that baseline here. You're going to reach your arms now. You might hold on to shins, ankles, or maybe you can hold on to the outside of the feet coming into full happy baby. I'm going to bring the knees together. Just rock a couple of times, coming all the way up to sit. I want to move over onto uh, standing and bring your hands down. So I've got a couple of blocks here. Blocks can be helpful in the beginning to support the wrists and the arms, or to put your head on if you feel like that gives you a little cushion or something to um, have some support. So what's really important is the placement of the shins onto the upper part of the arm. And this is often the hardest part of um, getting the technique of crow pose. So you can see here, I'm up onto my fingertips and I've bent my elbow back into my body. So again, I'm trying to create quite a deep bend through the elbow. So now I'm gonna bring my knees up into my armpits. And that might feel enough for you. If you felt that happy baby was quite challenging, from what I'll get people to start with is malasana, squat pose. So that's good work into getting the flexion into the hips. So I've got my arms drawing in, so you can see I've really stabilised up here through the trapezius, shoulder girdle, muscles around the shoulder joint, drawing the elbows in and then coming up onto my toes. So at the moment my hips are lifted up quite high and this is where you want to work that flexion. So I'm going to drop my hips down. Remember the head is the heaviest part, so if I'm looking back, it's probably where I'm going to tip and bring my weight down. So I'm going to look forward, and in most arm balances, that's the direction that you want to think about moving, forward. So as I come forward now, and I've got that shelf nice and firm with my arms and my legs, so that I can start to find that tipping point, and maybe pick one foot up, Again, take it in stages. You might then be able to start to find that balance and bring both feet up. Do you want to feel like you're lifting your back rib cage up? And then bringing the feet back down and resting. So these are, this type of posture is a posture that is not only needs some flexibility but some strength also some awareness of getting the basic techniques and then just practice absolutely practice practice 